Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at Antivirus 8 and how to remove Antivirus 8 from your computer. Now, we're doing this on a Windows, ba Windows 7 based computer, however, it's going to work the exact same on Windows Vista because it's essentially the same operating system. And XP, it's going to be a little bit different, but if you follow this guide uh, and just substitute out the XP file paths, you're going to be just fine. Now we're going to go over this a, a bit quicker than we do on most guides uh, just because the antivirus 8 threat um, has been out for a while we just haven't created a video on it and uh, it's not as big of an issue as it was in the past so this is just a quick video on it. Now antivirus 8 is of course a fake antivirus client that's why we're making this video on how to remove it. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, if you still have the, the icon in your desktop great go ahead and right click on it. Stated. We're going to go ahead and right click. Now this may come up, that's alright. Go ahead and select properties, just move this over to the side. We'll go ahead and slow it down now. And this is the actual file path, so it's just going to be in the C programs, um, the 80, x86 for most people, backslash AV8. Now, it, the only reason why I'm telling individuals to right click on it, if you deleted the icon on your desktop, it's not a big deal. Just browse down to this file path. That's all you have to do with this threat. So, and for XP, it's going to be C colon backslash program files. It's just not going to be the 86. Leave it open. Well, if you have to close it down, close it down. Program files, x86. I believe it was, uh, was it antivirus 8? Yeah, AV8. So it's that one right there. We're just going to go ahead and open up the AV8 folder. right there right click on it we're gonna go ahead and hit rename we're just gonna rename it to whatever we want and that is it now you just reboot your computer by reboot your computer turn it off turn it back on and AV8 will no longer be running because you actually changed the executable file path now if you were able to boot up into a safe mode um, perfect you can just go ahead and delete this file or if you're able to bring up the task manager Windows 7 and Vista it's going to be control shift escape all you have to do is highlight the AV8.exe process and process and process then you'll be able to actually delete the file now yes there are other file traces uh, at this point in time you need to run a full virus scan uh, don't be dumb run a full scan uh, so many people out there they they just remove or you know we help them remove whatever virus they were infected with at that time however they don't bother to run the scan and three days later they're infected again or a month later they're infected again you need active antivirus protection on your computer. Uh, we recommend Spower Doctor with antivirus. You can download it from the removevirus.org website uh, and uh, irregardless, I don't care what you use. Uh, we also do recommend Malwarebytes, but Spower Doctor with antivirus, we like them a little bit better. Again, you can download that from the removevirus.org website. We'll also list all the other traces uh, for antivirus 8, including the startup folders, as well as any registry keys, just to ensure that you removed all of the threat from your computer. And in this particular case, I can tell you right offhand, um, we got infected because of this right here, yll.exe and ymomia.exe. Um, Both of these, is what they're doing is they're actually going out and causing pop-ups on our computer, and it's also went out and fetched the software that actually the antivirus state that got us infected in the first place. So that's how we got infected. So yes, this computer is still infected. However, we have removed the antivirus 8 client. That's it for this video. Short and sweet. Take care.